Good morning. It's now 7.30 in the morning of Sunday, July the 5th. I'm Andy and this is my allotment. Now it's been about three weeks since I last did a video. I uh, apologise for the gap. i uh, been on holiday and also just not had the time to do it. It's just been so busy with everything else going on around in the life. Not just down here but uh, life outside of the allotment as well. But what it does mean is I've got plenty to show you as what's been going on. Okay, first of all, I've had another delivery of soil compost from the local council. Um, about 500 litres in there, half of it's been used, the rest of it will be used to fill up potato buckets and beds, etc. as we go along. I've uh, got another half bag of wood chippings there, I've got to fill that right to the top, as this pile at the bottom is split between a number of us here, and we're all taking two bags full. We took one each to see how it went. We're now look at, looking at taking a second bag, which is pretty good. £7 I think it was for the lot, so that's great. So, I'll start a little tour around the beds and show you what's happening and where we're up to. Shallots at the front here started to split nicely. Still looking a bit tatty, but they were in the polytunnel and then in the uh, greenhouse for quite some time when they shouldn't have been. And then at the back, now these ones I'm particularly happy with because these were onions which were sown from seed. I've got white onions, I've got some red barren in there, and I've also got some kelsey. So, these are ones which uh, I'm very happy with. Never grown from seed before, and they've come up wonderfully, so I'll do that again, I think. But next year I'll start a bit sooner. Square foot bed. Uh, looking a bit of a mess at the moment. A lot of the uh, turnips have gone to seed, a lot of the lettuce at the back have gone to seed there. And as you can see here, we've got some lettuce molting heading for the sky. So they're going to be picked today. And unfortunately they've got a lot of weeds in there as well at the back, they're looking horrendous. Mare's tail coming through, all sorts coming through. They just need tidying up and clearing up and it's just getting the time to do it. The problem is when you come down, do you spend time clearing the weeds and not plant anything? Or do you plant things and not clear the weeds? You know, it's one of those, what do you do? The problem is the weather we've had recently, the lovely sun and uh, the showers, the very heavy showers in some cases we've been having. I've been fantastic for growing, but the weeds are doing better than the plants, still. While I'm here, I'll show you the comfrey over there. Absolutely going ballistic, there's only two plants there, but you know, it's just going crazy. And the sweet corn. Sweet corn's about what, two foot high just over, and the male flowers are starting to come out on some of them. But they're healthy plants, um, I'm sure they will suddenly have a growing spurt and grow up even further. Fruit current fruit currants, fruit bushes. Uh, I've got black currants in there and really really heavy with fruit and you can see that in there but uh, loads and loads of fruits and just this one bush here there's about five bushes there Then down here we've got loads of gooseberries again I'm not sure if you can see all that but there's hundreds of the things in there and then I found what I thought was a black currant but actually looks to be a red currant so Overall, very happy. More gooseberries at the bottom. Okay, these are French beans which have been put in. We have a trellis which they're starting to climb. This side has done best so far, it's up to halfway. Um, they decided not to grow runner beans this year because basically we don't like them. So what's the point? And I've also got on here a couple of climbing squashes on this side. Now at the back, my broad beans, which are getting up to about five foot high now, which are looking good. Uh, a little bit of black fly I can see, but nothing significant. Now I was concerned earlier on in the year that I wasn't getting any beans on these. And when I started looking at them, I've now got beans, there's plenty of beans, I'll see if I can find some to show you. Yeah, actually there, loads of beans there. Uh, the problem I had earlier was that the ones at the bottom weren't being pollinated, but uh, Again, if you look in there, loads of beans. Um, the ones right at the very bottom weren't being pollinated, and so that was the problem. Um, the later ones have been pollinated, so we're looking really good now. So, onwards and upwards, and hopefully we'll do well. Right, the jungle. In this lot here, there are raspberries, there are blackberries, and there's loads and loads of weeds. Again, I just need to get in there and get through it all and clear it all out, but it's having the time to do it. What I was hoping to do with that this year, before the season started, was put some compost in, weed fabric, and plant strawberries through it. As I've done here, 
Now this was the bed that I made this year, which has become very, very popular, very, very, very um, successful. Uh, had loads of strawberries off it already, probably about, uh, I don't know, what, about a kilo so far, off these few plants. Um, and the one at the back, as you can see, strawberries coming on nicely. Losing a few to the local blackbird, losing a few to slugs, but nothing significant at the moment. Uh, no big d damage, so quite happy with that. Right, this is my grandson Jack's bed. We were on here yesterday with him, uh, working away. Uh, he's got some shallots which are doing really well, best than the ones I've got over on my bed. A couple of onions, and he's got strawberries as well. And he's picked quite a few of those yesterday. He's only two, so um, he basically gets a lot of help from me. He's got a courgette plant here, which is doing really well. There's some little yellow courgettes in the bottom, down there. But uh, none of them flowering just yet. And then there's a pumpkin. His first pumpkin got eaten, so I've replaced it with one from the, the uh, spares I had, thankfully. And he seems to be doing okay with that. And his potatoes starting to go yellow. These are first earlys at the front, and at the back uh, is a second early or a main crop. I'm not sure which one it was, to be honest. And then on this bed here, the other side of the raspberries, loads and loads and loads of strawberries and weeds. Rhubarb, this bed is being overrun with mare's tail. Again, I need to get in there and clear it out. And again, it's the fact that I don't have the time to do it. One thing we did do yesterday is clear up quite a bit of the decking. As you can see there, it's been swept. Um, I've got to get rid of all the rest of the rubbish off the decking. I've got to um, stay, in, stay in it and seal it this year. I didn't do it last year or the year before. I need to do it this year, otherwise the thing will rot and I'll be wasting my time with it. Mini fruit bed. Raspberries coming on wonderfully. Grape in the middle is doing great. I wasn't expecting anything from the grape this year because this year we cut it back really hard. And there's quite a few strawberries in, in between everything as well. Again, had a few from there, which is doing well. Okay, where should we go next? I know, potatoes. Grown with potatoes in buckets and in bags this year. So this is the first lot. On the right hand side, the paler green ones are the first earlies, like uh, my grandson's got. Then in the middle, I've got some second earlies, or early main crop I think it is, sorry, at the back. And the row at the back going across in the four bags are the second earlies. Left hand side is also second early. And over here, in these buckets of bags, are main crop. Now they only went in a few weeks ago, so looking good for that. Even though they only went in shortly, or a short while ago. Now, this bed, red currants, white currants, and a couple of courgettes and a pumpkin in the middle. Um, this is a bed that I, has been a huge amount of weeds in it for a long time. Cleared it all out, took a long, about two hours to do it, getting rid of everything out of it. There's still some coming through, as you would expect. I'm going to go over this with a hole later and just chop everything back and clear it down. Again, this one's got yellow courgettes on one and it's got greeny courgettes on the other. No flowers coming on them as yet. But uh, early days yet, give it a chance and we'll be fine. Okay, under here we've got cauliflowers. Um, now these cauliflowers aren't yet started to head up, so I'm assuming they're going to be an autumn or winter cauliflower. So, looking good though. A few holes in the leaves. Now, we were thinking there might be caterpillars got underneath, but we've checked and there's none in there, so it must just be slug damage. Not sure how they're getting through or why it's happening, but we're going to have another check later on today and see if there are more caterpillars in there, because at the moment, as you can see, especially that one, it's getting hammered. More beans. I had a few bean plants left over, so I put a little wigwam up here. And on the other side of it, celeriac. Um, got ten plants there. Should be more than enough for us, only me that likes it in the family. On this side, these are my overwintering onions. They overwintered inside the polytunnel in um, modules. Planted them out here and these are some of the best onions I've ever grown. I've never grown anything this size before, it's fantastic. Uh, we harvested the garlic last weekend, uh, which, which was down there. I'll show you that in a second, which is uh, drying off in the greenhouse. And doing quite well. Um, oh, I've got myself a new water butt. It's not yet plumbed in. Um, because I've got the connectors I need to get the pipe from one side to the other and I've also got to get a stand and I've also got to get a tap for it but I've got a water butt, one that's not going to crack in the bottom etc so hopefully that will do well 
and, uh, and get it connected up and take advantage of these thunderstorms we're getting. Okay, a um, couple of outdoor tomatoes here and a cucumber. Uh, I've actually got some tomatoes coming on them. These are the Crimson Crush variety that have been uh, um, sent out for free by various seed companies. I got mine from Dobies and it came with little plug plants and I was expecting uh, seeds so I'm quite pleased with that and they're doing well. Not as well as the ones inside the greenhouse which I'll show you shortly but they're doing well for an outdoor variety and theoretically these are blight, very blight resistant. Now last year I lost every single tomato I had to blight, didn't get a single tomato at all so I'm hoping that these will give me something this year. Right, a couple of uh, squashes. This one's a spaghetti squash. This was in the greenhouse but it's just getting far too big. It was hanging down and trailing everywhere, getting in the way. So I brought it out here to plant. And this one is, um, I think it's a little pumpkin. I think it's a baby bear pumpkin. Or it might be a sweet dumpling, I'm not certain. Um, but again, these have just been planted straight into the ground and as you can see, a lovely fine tilt on this. Um, it just needs bashing around and breaking up and some of the weeds taking out of it and I can plant more in the middle. So I might plant a couple more squashes in here, which I've got to go yet. Now, I'll show you inside the greenhouse. Still very busy inside here. Lots to see. Loads going on. Right. Uh, this is my uh, one of the green zebra I've got. Uh, it's just starting to get its first flowers on the top, so I'm hoping we'll get something from there. At the back I've got some orange chilies. Now I don't know if you can see there. I've got some chilies coming through, which is great because I do like chilies. Um got a little scotch bonnet there which overwintered and it started starting to get some flowers on that as well, so that's quite good. This is my cute indoor cucumber. The, I've got more two market moors, one I'm keeping inside here. Uh, this is eventually going to go on the floor and be trained up um, a cane. But at the moment I've got nowhere to put it, so it's on here and it's hanging down. So that's going to be a bit of a shock for it when it goes on the floor. Um, a few more tomatoes on the top here. Loads of beetroot, they need to go out into the square foot bed once I've weeded it. And then at the back there I've got my herbs. I've got some dill, I've got some parsley, I've got some basil, quite a bit of basil actually. Um, the one thing that hasn't come up is rosemary, but I've got some other rosemary elsewhere I can use. Right, at the front here we've got some cabbages. Uh, when we went on holiday, went to a garden centre, they're selling them off at 50p a pack, so I thought fine, I'll give it a try. Looking a bit worse for wear, but brought them back and they're doing fantastic. Same with the celery at the back, the whole tray of celery across there was 50p. It was yellow when I got it, and now it's gone going green. All I've got to do is find somewhere to plant it out. And I've got myself an ochre plant. Now, I've never had an ochre before, but it's something I've always wanted to try. And so I'm going to plant this uh, in a big tub, I think, or I might stick it in... Um, one of the smaller beds and see what happens with it because ochre is a, is a root tuber like um, I suppose it's going to be growing it like um, Jerusalem artichokes but, um, but there's, a, there's supposedly like a very very small waxy um, tuber which you can use like potatoes never had them looking forward to trying them got a couple of melon plants while I was there as well so again 50p each for the melon plants over here I've got some fennel in smaller pots. I've also got some garden pearl, I don't know if you can see on there. A couple of small tomatoes there. Maybe you're in focus or not, I don't know. So I've got some potting on to do because some of these are all in little plastic cups as you can see. They need potting on. Um, underneath here, tray of brassicas, various brassicas which again need putting into smaller containers. Uh, sorry, larger containers. Herbs, peas, and a tub of carrots. Uh, those are the seedlings that I had in here that got scorched before I managed to get my shading up. And I've got a couple of decent tomato plants. Now, if you see this on the top here, that's scorched again. Because these got so tall, they were on the stand behind me, and they got so tall that they pushed right up against the, uh, the black netting, or even through the black netting, and they got scorched. So that was why it's important to move them. Now, I said I was going to show you the garlic harvest, and there it is which is quite decent. Now, nearly all the green has gone from the leaves. There's just a little bit left on there, so another few days, perhaps a week, and that should be finished. Then we can start cleaning those up, cleaning the bulbs up, and basically getting ready for storage. Uh, I'm gonna try plaiting them and making strings. And if I do manage to do it, I'll show you 
the results. I might even show you how I do it if it's any good, but we will see. So the plans for today, I've got to get uh, some of the fruit picked, strawberries, gooseberries, red currants that are ready, black currants that are ready, and just basically get those sorted out. I've got to pot on some of the tomatoes that are in here, in those little trays. Uh, I've got to pot on, I've got to plant the beetroot once I've cleaned the square foot gardening bed out. And one other task I've got to do is I have promised that uh, we have a big picnic table, a wooden picnic table, round table with seats around it that we use on the allotment for when we have gatherings and meetings and just basically somewhere to sit. It needs painting up with uh, preservative. I have offered to do that because I missed the last uh, tidy day as I was on holiday. So as I feel I ought to do my share, I'm going to be doing that today. As soon as I put the camera down, I'll be painting. So, not a lot of greening, not, greeny, not a lot of uh, gardening that's going to be happening, first of all, as I've got lots of painting to do, so it'll be a lot of brown rather than green. But, that's the way it goes. Anyway, I hope this has been enjoyable, I hope it's been uh, informative for people. Any questions, please let me know. Um, thanks everyone for watching, subscribing. Um, I do appreciate it, and I do appreciate any of the comments, I do try and respond to every comment. But it may be a little while between, between you putting a comment and me replying to it due to uh, having um, not been able to reply to things on my phone, which is where I mostly watch these things. But anyway, that's all for now. I've been going on for far too long. 16 minutes is long enough. Uh, I'll leave you to it. I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope your allotments are doing well. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now.